kitchen today i want to shout out to all my viewers and subscribers hope you guys and your family are keeping well and safe here in canada it's a holiday victoria day so i am gonna make something very special like we always make whenever we're celebrating something so i can't believe i didn't make chicken curry yet for my channel so today i'm gonna show my version of chicken curry and chicken curry is a dish that you can make in so many different ways and you can turn it and twist it and make it as best as you want it to be so i will show you guys how to make put a chicken curry together so guys this is the chicken for the chicken curry and it's washed i took off the skin and i wash it with lime so it's nice and clean and ready it's one whole chicken and these are some of the ingredients that i'm going to be putting inside i have here half of a large onion i'm gonna cut this up and add it into the dish I have two broad leaf thyme and I have two small one because I don't want to put too much because I'm using other thyme too. And I have a whole um, garlic that I peel a whole bulb of garlic. I have one hot pepper that I'm going to add into here. And I have here two, four, six, seven green onions that I clean and wash. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend up five of them and then two of them i'm gonna cut up to add into the dish after so i'm gonna blend the five green onion the two broad leaf thyme all the garlic pepper and i have in here some washing out some fine thyme about two teaspoon i will be blending all into my blender and that's what we're gonna cook the curry with so some of the seasoning from here i will be seasoning the chicken and some of it I will be using to cook the chicken curry. So once I finish blending up everything, I'll show you guys, and then we will keep um, we will I'll keep showing you guys how we prepare this curry. We have all the seasoning in here, and I add a little bit of water, like this much, because that's gonna help it to blend nicely and smoothly, like I'm looking for. So we have the green onion, the garlic, the pepper. The hot pepper is one that was grown in my own garden from last summer and then i have the fine thyme and the broad leaf thyme and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just blend it and puree it all and this is what i'm gonna use for the curry and to season the chicken okay guys so this is the chicken i add four teaspoon of our blended seasoning that we just blended up i'm gonna be adding into that one teaspoon of salt for flavor and this we're going to marinate the chicken and I'm going to add half a teaspoon of black pepper to build additional flavor and salt, black pepper and the seasoning. That's all we're going to use to marinate the chicken and I'm just going to mix this up nicely so everything, the seasoning will coat all over and give this chicken a nice flavor when we're ready to cook it. So while this is sitting in the marinade, you can do this and leave it for a little while you can do it overnight you can do it for some hours but you can also do it right away which i'm going to be doing right away so i'm not going to leave this for a long time so while i'm doing that i'm going to take in here some um some seasoning so um this is the the seasoning that i'm mixing for the curry so i'm going to add into here one teaspoon of you know what i'm gonna add half teaspoon of roasted jira half teaspoon of roasted jira and that's gonna give this this a beautiful beautiful flavor i'm gonna use half a teaspoon of mixed masala and this is all the masala blended up together um all the different kind of masala and this gives a very beautiful flavor and then i'm going to use one teaspoon of turmeric powder and i'm using organic turmeric powder this is a must in chicken curry so one teaspoon and this is going to give flavor plus color and a beautiful um finish for the chicken curry and then i'm using lala's curry powder and this i find that lala's curry powder is very nice and rich for any type of curry 
and sometimes you can find bay leaf and all that in there so which should add another depth of flavor so i'm gonna use one because it's a whole whole chicken i'm gonna use two teaspoons of lala's curry powder and then i'm gonna add all this rich seasoning that i blend up in my blender into there and then we will mix this up and i'm going to show you guys how that looks mix all this goodness and inside of um inside of the blender cup i'm just gonna rinse that so we get out all of that goodness into here and you just want to mix until just i know you want to mix this take a turn i know how badly you want to mix that yeah so you we're gonna mix it all nice so everything can get married in together and then we're gonna start chunking this curry here now so i'm gonna move to the next step okay guys so we're now gonna um we're now gonna chunk it this curry and i had i have in my pot one teaspoon of coconut oil warming up and i don't like to put my um masala in when it's too hot because everything just splatter, splatter up and go everywhere so i like to put it in before it's really really hot and then let it cook along with the oil warming up so all this flavor here from all the ingredients is going to marry in and what we want to do is we want it to cook and let all the spices open up and infuse in this pot before we add the chicken to this dish so i'm gonna turn it up and i can hear it start sizzling little by little here and we're gonna cook it until it's nice and the color change to a nice brownish color because you don't want to add the chicken into raw spices you want the spices to open up and infuse and cook a little before you add the spices so i'm gonna cover it down let it cook for a few minutes and then i'll show you guys the texture how we usually add the chicken into the pot okay guys let's check this and it's cooking up nicely and when it's catching on the bottom like you feel like it's sticking to the bottom you know that it is um it needs some water so at this point it double in size and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add some water guys it smell amazing so the bowl that I was doing the mixture in, I ju I'm just going to rinse it to get all that goodness in out of it. And I'm adding that little bit of water, just a little bit, for it to cook a little bit more. And so the spices can cook properly and it's not halfway there. So I'm just going to let this cook about a minute or two and then I'm going to check it back. It smells and looks amazing. And... Um, I'm going to soon add the chicken into here. But before I do so, I want to add some salt. I like to add some salt into the, um, the mixture because when you put the chicken inside to mix it up, it's going to ha have um, flavor all over from the, from the um, masala and everything in here. It's going to have flavor as well. So I put half a teaspoon so far. Of course, I'm going to be adding more, but this is just to give a little flavor to the masala before we add it to the chicken. So it's cooking up nicely. I'm going to cover it for one more minute and then we'll come back. Let's check this out and it's cooking up beautifully. There's a lot of steam right now. It's going to fog up the camera, but this is smelling amazing. So at this point, and I can see that the color of the masala and everything change into a brownish color which is the right color and the right paste that i'm looking for so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add my onion into here right now and this is that half large onion that i had sitting on the side i do not add my onion into the um i do not blend it into the blend up seasoning i like to add it freshly cut into the pot right at this stage and then what I'm gonna do here, this is smelling so good. That's how this smells. It smells so good. So I'm gonna add, while this onion is infusing in the rest of the seasoning, I'm gonna add that chicken. And I'm gonna add, oops, just 
you're gonna bear with me till I put everything inside. Yeah. So I'm gonna add the whole chicken and the, what I'm gonna do, I'll give it a stir so everything can be nicely coated with all the seasoning and everything. Guys, I can't believe I didn't do a chicken curry for my channel yet because chicken curry in my country is a very special dish. We always, always have this on our menu when it's a holiday, a special occasion, Sunday dinner, um, somebody celebrating something. There will be a lot of dish, but chicken curry would always, always be one of the menu on our specialty for Guyanese people. So if you have someone coming over, the first thing you try to do is cook a chicken curry. And if you're making a whole bunch of other dishes, you make, you make sure that chicken curry is on that menu. So this is a very special dish for us. And I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and a half because I had add half before. So I'll let this cook and then I'll taste it. And if I have to add anything else, I would add it when I after I add water into this dish. So this is gonna reduce a lot of liquid. So I'm gonna cover it and let it reduce all the liquid and let and then we leave it until the liquid is cooked out. And that, that's when I'm gonna add some water inside for it to cook to make a nice gravy. Okay guys, let's check this baby. And it's cooking up nicely. Look at that, beautiful, right? So I'm gonna turn this and I love the color. And what I'm gonna do now, because it's spring up a lot of water, I'm gonna let this water cook out. We want this to cook out before we add any more water. And I have three potatoes here that I peel already. And I'm gonna add this to the dish and I'm just cutting them in half because the potatoes will cook before the um, chicken. And I don't want to cut them into small pieces for them to melt away because my son and me were potato lovers for in chicken curry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add these now and they will cook and they will cook nice and tender and soft for this dish and the potato thick the, what I, what i like to put the potato in chicken curry it usually thicken up the gravy and you get nice thick gravy out of it so i always put potatoes in my chicken curry and guys what why i like chicken curry for um for its own special unique way all different country make it in their own different way and my trini friends my trinidadian friends um when you sometimes if you want to know who's making chicken curry if you're not sure if it's a guyanese or trinidadian trinidadian always call it curry chicken they have their own unique way of calling it and guyanese people always call it chicken curry and my friends from indian the whole caribbean they make it a little bit different. They have their own twist and their own swing to it. So that's why I love chicken curry so much because you can play around, you can change it up. There's so many different flavor and styles that you can make it. So this is an absolute beautiful dish in all different countries and ways. Okay guys, let's check this. Wow. Can you see Jess? <laughs> you can't put it over where the steam is going. Guys, it's cooking up nicely. I have the heat on slow. And from the time you feel like it's, like the um, chicken is catching to the bottom, meaning it's sticking on to the bottom, you know that it's, um, the water is, the liquid is drying out. Potato looks like it's almost cooked. Yep, it's nice and soft. So I'm gonna let a little bit more of this water cook out. And then I will add a little bit more so the chicken can cook properly to, and to make a nice thick gravy for us when we're ready to eat. So what we're going to do here now, I'm going to let it cook out a little bit more. Okay guys, so let's check this now. And it's really, really sticking to the bottom. It really smells so, good. Mm -hmm. And it looks amazing, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to start adding. And those potatoes look like they're big, but it's already cooked. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. Because we want to cook this chicken properly through the bones. And we don't want to have half raw half chicken curry. 
So I'm just putting a little bit because we're gonna make it to eat on doll. So you just want a little bit of water just to make um, a nice thick gravy for your doll and rice. And it's looking great. As soon, I'm gonna add a little tiny bit more. And that's like two cups, about three cups I added. So I'm gonna cover this down and let it cook until the, some of this water is cooked out. And then we will come back and show you guys the next step. But when I open it the next time, I'm gonna taste and let you guys know if I have to add salt or anything else. Okay guys, so this is done, I think. Um, the way it's sounding, I'm gonna slow down the fat, the stove, because I don't want all that steam. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what I'm gonna do, what I like to do, I had kept back two of the green onions and I cut them up and I like to add them towards the end for freshness of flavor. And I'm just gonna put them in here now and it looks beautiful too. Look at that. So I'm gonna turn this up and it's just gonna steam into this dish and the potatoes are falling apart. So I'm gonna empty it from this pot and put it into a dish and then I'll plate and show you guys. Guys, here it is. You can still see the green onion nice and fresh on the top. That's how I like it. And here I dish out my food and this is how we like to serve it. The little bit of rice, your chicken curry, you can see my potato right there and your dal. We usually serve chicken curry with dal most of the time. Sometimes you can have it just like that, but we like to have it with dal, especially when you make um, bunjay chicken curry and you dry it down. You get the, um, you, you can use the dal as the gravy for this dish. So I'm gonna taste and let you guys know. So guys, I'm gonna taste now. And here I have everything and I made some dal. So I'm gonna eat some of it with the dal. So we like to mix it up. And then I'm gonna put a piece of potato. I love my chicken curry with potato because it gives that extra um, nice thick flavor so I'm gonna dive in first for the chicken a piece of chicken and guys this is for all my viewers and subscriber I'm taking this bite for you guys oh my god that is amazing an amazing bite of goodness the flavor is so rich the chicken is so soft it's falling apart i don't even have to chew that much and guys you can taste that pepper the kick of pepper you can f the flavor of all the rich spices is just bursting out everywhere this is such a unique special dish that's why i now realize why we always celebrate with chicken curry there is something about chicken curry that is so special so this is the potato now i'm tasting so guys, I hope you like the steps. Mm. Guys, so good. I'm so happy right now. This turned out so good. There's no better way to end your Monday long weekend dinner with a nice plate of chicken curry and dal and rice. So guys, hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I hope most of you will try to cook chicken curry this week now, knowing that you see step by step if you have any question please leave me a comment and if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my videos yet please do so until then i'll be enjoying this chicken curry bye for now